Yeah, I mean, there was a lot of changes and uh, in a really short time. It was very challenging for the team to put the car together to be here. Uh, like we can see, a lot of the teams didn't made it this far. I mean, they're going to probably just do the Daytona test, but these guys did a tremendous job and put in the, the diffuser, the brakes, the different aero packages, the engine, the six-speed gearbox. I mean, there was a lot of work in a really short time. And the car ran really, really good from uh, lap one. Uh, we had minor adjustments to do for the bumps around here at Sebring, but I was really, really pleasantly surprised with how everything uh, went through the first, the first hour of practice. Uh, we were able to do actually uh, some good laps and uh, understand a little bit with all, all these modifications what they would bring a plus to the car and it was um, we were, I was very pleasantly surprised like I keep saying I, uh, I was expecting a bigger challenge a more unbalanced car aero wise and mechanically to be uh, more difficult but um, I mean we still have work to do obviously um, most of the aero uh, it's biased more towards the rear, but still, uh, I mean, o overall, the car gained overall uh, aer aerodynamic, more downforce, and uh, we were really pleased with the first outing. Unfortunately, the weather didn't allow us to continue to work in uh, what we wanted to do in our program, but um, for the first impression, is great. I'm li really looking forward for the, the race. Well, I think it was 98 was the first time I drove a Porsche, and since then, I'd say 95% of all the laps I've done have been in 911s or Porsches. So uh, this is definitely a big change for me, but first impressions are the car is uh, it's different than the Porsche, but not so different that you know the same skill set doesn't translate. Uh, we got a little bit more to learn about what makes the car go fast. And I still haven't felt the car when it's set up right and 100%, so I don't know exactly what it's gonna want. But we're learning and the learning curve's been pretty quick today. Well, the team has always been a great group of guys. They've always been 100% no matter what they've been doing. But there's definitely uh, some new excitement that wasn't there before. I mean, these, these guys are getting new toys just like the drivers, so they're learning new things every day about them, and they're definitely up to the challenge. You know, the energy here has been pretty high ever since we unloaded them, and I know they've been working pretty hard before the test, you know, night and day getting these things ready. So uh, they're working hard, but they're loving every minute of it. In all honesty, it was kind of what we uh, expected. Uh, we originally didn't plan to do this test, and uh, with some updates from uh, Honda and HPD, we decided we uh, wanted to maximize our Daytona time. So we knew coming here we were going to have some teething issues. Um, the good thing is we got the car out this afternoon, and uh, we got the car, we got some good uh, information we're going to look at overnight, but uh, it was great to be back in the car. It's my, my old baby, this one, uh, from Starworks. So. Uh, great first day. I mean, I'm, I'm happy that I kind of got through the first day and didn't make any mistakes and uh, didn't make anybody regret the decision of having me here. So, uh, massive thank you to, uh, to everybody at Petroni SM for, for having me here. And I look forward to good things. You know, definitely can tell there's a, a good car under me. Uh, great to have my old engineer, Steve Chalice, back with me. So, um, we'll put our heads down over tonight and uh, we'll get a good dinner in us and we'll come back hopefully for a dry Sebring tomorrow. It's pretty much what I expected the, the DP was going to look like. Um, although I've obviously being uh, signed with ESM now and I've still kept a keen eye on what Daytona prototypes is because I've uh, been with the series for a long time and I think I've always said that the changes they made they had to speed the cars up regardless of whether we merged with uh, P2 or not but um, it's encouraging you know I think it did a low 53 in its first day here and uh, race times for a P2 car are around about low 52s high 51s so um, encouraging start for sure and uh, sounds pretty good sounds throaty you know we uh, we we'll maybe have to put a little tool hook on the back of them at Daytona here and see what happens. But um, encouraging start for the series. And uh, I think the first day for the Tudor uh, United Sports Car Series has been a success. And uh, great to see so many new cars here. And uh, I think everybody's kind of really stepping up for next year. So I'm looking forward to Daytona. I think there's going to be more cars there. And uh, continuing to, you know, make this closer. We, we can't make any... Uh, I don't think we can draw any conclusions as to what happened today um, and maybe not even what happens at Daytona next week. So we have to take what, what we find in these couple of tests as a series and we have to make it right for January. Yeah, it's, uh, it's very funny uh, that, um, that the car is really different than the LMP car for sure. It's uh, a lot softer and it's a completely different style of driving. I still didn't find exactly how to drive it, but uh, I still have to learn. But uh, it was fun to this morning because in the quick corner, there's no, there is no downforce like on the LMP car and you're a little bit scared at the beginning in the first corner and 17. 
So I try to, to find the good references to, to break and turn in and find where is the grip limit. But it was a, just a shakedown this morning and it uh, was very important to, to keep the, the car on the track and uh, don't destroy it straight away. And uh, it's, a, it's a private team uh, with a lot of hope and uh, we have to go slowly and help them to, to, to find the right setup and everything uh, to begin.